Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. So we have the Nine of Cups. That's always a good energy. For the most part. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's the Five of Swords in reverse, which is also about reconcile. Like somebody wanting to make amends, make peace, reconcile. Someone feeling regretful, wanting to resolve things. We have the Three of Wands here. And we have the Justice card in reverse. That's Libra energy. So, yeah, somebody feels like they need to make something up to you. Queen of Wands in the back of the deck. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. What about that? Hmm. See? Ooh, what is this? There was, there's somebody... I feel like this person views you as their wish fulfillment. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like they view you do make this person very happy. Um, they're very attracted to you. They think they think you're very confident and independent and beautiful and all those things, right? Sex sexy, but this is somebody that was like not making a decision here. And it looks like it was between you and somebody else because we do have the Queen of Swords in reverse here. But whoever this other person was that they were trying to decide between or they were caught in between two people or caught in the middle or couldn't make up their mind about that. They, yeah, they, this is somebody that they were in turmoil with. Or if it was somebody that they just like. How do I say this? Like if they had somebody that they were, I don't know, but it's like. Whatever that other situation is, they were like unable to fully move on from it. But they felt stuck there, like they felt like they were stuck in turmoil. This person has like this pessimistic, yeah, right as I'm saying that, this pessimistic type energy when it comes to that situation too. Like they just feel like it's, there's nothing that they can do. It's it's a bad situation, but that's just how it's got to be like or something like that. Like they know that somebody is very cruel and deceitful and bitter and manipulative, but they just kind of like have been in this energy where they're just like, well, I just have, I, it is what it is and I'm just stuck here and I can't move on from this situation and it's just, I have to deal with it. So I got to, but it's like, yeah, it's like they've, they've been afraid to walk away from this situation and then like kind of like trying to convince them because they're so afraid, they've been convincing themselves that they just are stuck there. There's nothing that they can do about it. For some of you, I just heard it's a family member. So that's why they've been feeling like it doesn't matter if they can't get away from that person. I hope that that makes sense because it's their family. But what they don't know is that sometimes, unfortunately, you have to cut off even family members just because they're your family doesn't mean that you have to continue to have something to do with them. If they're in, if they're putting you through turmoil, if they're, that if they're affecting your well-being, if it's making you feel like you're trapped, that's very toxic and unhealthy. Yeah. Eight of cups in reverse. It's like they have a afraid, they're afraid to walk away from that situation. Yeah. Staying in a bad situation. Why do they feel stuck there? Very stuck energy here. The hanged man in reverse, Pisces energy, Leo energy here. Um, why are they feeling so stuck? The The Queen of Swords reverse could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius who they feel stuck with or uh, attached to and they feel like they can't get away from that person. Um, why are they so afraid to leave it if it's so bad? Let me get in another deck. Something can maybe be changing, though, around, like I said, around the solar eclipse. Or we're going to be, let's see. Someone wishes to reconcile with you. Somebody wishes to have something grow and expand with you but with the justice in reverse okay think about the nine of cups yeah the ace of pentacles this person is wanting something steady they want to be in union with you yeah, it's steady union gifts, new great love awaits. They know that they know what the two of you have. They know what's going on between the two of you. They know how significant or how special it is. And they wish for that. They want that. And you make them very happy. Tell me about the five of swords reverse. Yeah, awakening. I'm telling you, this person's a star starting to look at things differently. They're starting to like, and that's why they're wanting to reconcile with you. They're so, and they're starting to have regrets for how they treated you. Like this person's starting to feel like they did they weren't unfair toward you with the the justice in reverse they know know that they haven't taken accountability for some things they know that they haven't been completely honest with you either yeah wishing i told you 
Yeah, it's like they're yearning for you. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Suffering, but they're su suffer They're not doing anything about it. I mean, at least not yet. Tell me about justice in reverse. Unawakened, yeah. Doesn't totally understand their love for you. So when this person was in this unawakened energy, they were very unfair to you in whatever way. They were not taking accountability. They weren't being honest with you. For some of you, they were very much focused on like a legal situation. They weren't really so much focused on like trying to figure out what was going on between the two of you. Um, let's see. We have seven of pentacles. Yeah, they're starting to really contemplate things and think about their future in the long term. Tell me how this person was with the justice in reverse. Elaborate on that. Okay, why did they see nine of cups? It's almost like this person just feels like things are like not right. Like they're not right because the two of you are not together. Lessons. Yeah, separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. But what does this have to do with justice in reverse though? Yeah, they were very, exactly. Yeah, they were, it says inconsiderate behavior giving you mixed signals. But as they learn these lessons and as they wake up, they're starting to see you as this nine of cups, this ace of pentacles. They're wishing for you. They're yearning for you more. Anything else? Page of wands. Yeah, you're going to maybe hear from this person. Two, ten of cups. Yeah. It's almost like this person's like getting excited about the future with you or that that's somebody else had a reading like this. When they think about you guys being together as a family and in union, it makes them very happy. But yeah, with the Page of Wands, you may be receiving Seven of Cups. Maybe for some of you, they weren't they weren't sure if you were the, the end all be all or if this was just something that was like temporary. Yeah, fantasy choices. Yeah, tell me about Seven of Cups. They were inner yeah, strength, taming emotions. It's almost like this person was not letting themselves like fully surrender to the connection with you. Yeah, it's like they weren't letting themselves like fully surrender to this connection with you. Because I feel like this person just was not sure if this was like it. Like they weren't sure if this was like the end all be all. So they could have kept made they could have kept options. Like you weren't the only person that they were dealing with or they just like fully never they kept their options open. Or this person fantasizes about you a lot. Yeah, they daydream about you a lot. And when they think about you, it makes them very happy and excited about the future. Like, you're like the goal for this person. But they know that they have a lot of obstacles to overcome. So it's almost like this person's been trying to suppress this excitement and this, these feelings that they have for you. Because they just feel like they can't have it right now with you. That's the goal. But they know that they have to close out. They have to have the strength or the courage to close out another cycle. Tell me more. It could have something to do with children. Children affecting your connection. We have three of pentacles. Love at work. Project projects with partner. They're working. They're either working with somebody. Fine. With, when it comes to money. Collaborating with somebody. Whatever. Be, because of children. King of cups. Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio energy. Nine of wands. This is actually somebody that's very emotional. They are a very loving person. They have their, they are, they are very, they're, they can't even be, I just heard empathic for some of you. Like they're a very deep feeler. Okay. I hope that makes sense. But this hurt, you would never know it because they're so defensive. Like they're very guarded. What is four of cups? Temperance. It's like this person's not happy where they're, they're at, but they're trying to be patient. Maybe they're trying to heal. What does this have to do with my collective? Yeah, making things manifest what you want wants you. Yeah, justice. There it is again. So this person feels like they need to make things right with you. Yeah. There was like an imbalance in this connection because one of you was awakened and the other one wasn't. One of you saw what this connection was or knew it and the other person wasn't sure about it or just didn't they didn't recognize it. But um yeah, what is seven of wands and high the high priestess Pisces energy? See the seven of swords. Spirit says you need to listen to your intuition because this person is deceiving you in some way or they have been keeping secrets. So you need to keep your boundaries in place. Yeah, dark night of the soul. That came, I already saw that. Yeah, they need to heal. Somebody needs to heal. What is this decept deceptive energy though? The high priestess, the seven of swords. Yeah, five of pentacles. What's that do with my collective? Okay.
where does my collective fit into these this little situation right here the lovers yeah this could be your twin for some of you but there is a connection here or turn out the lovers the hierophant this you're this person wants to come into union with you they want to be committed to you but why are they but it's like this person's not telling you this what 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 why is this person doing this yeah they don't feel like it's the right time so for some of you they're they they're the and for the long run they're thinking they're seeing the two of you together yeah look at this knight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy it's like they're slowly moving towards you or working their way towards you to be able to offer because you know, the knight of pentacles carries the ace of pentacles right yeah the, the knight of pentacles is carrying the ace of pentacles so they feel like in the long term they'll in and in divine timing they'll be able to come in and give you this ace of pentacles Yep, and the Ace of Wands. Like, you guys will be able to have a new beginning. But right now, for some reason, like, this person's goal is to be with you. Like, but the problem is, guys, is that they're not telling you this. They're, they're being very guarded. They're not telling you how they're feeling about you. They're not telling you what they're planning for the future. How are you going to plan a future with somebody without them included in it? That's what this person's doing. This person's like thinking about the future, excited about the future that the two of you can have together. But instead of talking to you about this and building this life with you, they're just like leaving you out of the, and what they're doing, what they don't realize that they're doing is they're pushing you away because they're making you feel like the five of pentacles when they do this. Left out in the cold, feeling rejected and lonely. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like you guys know this about this person. You can intuitively feel this, that this person views you this way, but they're not telling you. Why are they keeping this a secret from the person that they are thinking they're going to end up building life with in the future? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, insecurities, controlling, holding. Yeah, what about the Four of Pentacles? It's time. Yeah, this person just kind of feels like they can just somehow kind of hold on to you until it's the right time. But why are they not telling you? Four of Wands? Yeah, why are they not telling you? The two of guys, this is crazy. This person, in their mind, you guys are going to be together. You're going to end up married. You're going to live together. You're going to be in a relationship. You guys, but it's like when it's the time is right. But why are they not telling my collective this? Three of Cups. Mm. What about the Three of Cups? The King of Swords. Three of Cups, King of Swords, the Hermit. It's almost like. Okay. One more. Why are they not telling them this? The Five of Swords. This person likes to play. They play games. The Five of Wands. Yeah, this person likes to fight or there's just like. This person maybe feels like. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to put this into words, y'all. Why are they hiding this from the collective? Give me a few more cards. The Moon. Yes, we know that they're hiding this. The Tower. What about the tower? Undecided. What? Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person, it's like they do see a future with you, but it's almost like they're not telling you right now because you would be expecting certain things of them. <laughs> Does that make sense, guys? Like if somebody if somebody tells you that they want to wife you or they want to make you their husband. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. They love you. You're the one. If they, if this person told you all those things, what would you expect from this person? You would be expecting them to put in the work, put in all the work. But this person knows that they still have obstacles to overcome. They may even have another relationship or they have another, they have interference. They have third party interference here. That they're not either ready to get out of or they think that they can't get out of right now. So it's almost like this person doesn't want to promise you something that they can't give you right now. Which they shouldn't. But they're still trying to hold on to you too. Because they do feel like you guys, you guys are going to be together in the future. I hope that this makes... Guys... Whew, I'm telling you, hold on. <laughs> I need a drink of water. And then on top of that, this person's not ready to be vulnerable. So two things. Let, let me try to make this 
summarize this. This person views you as the one. You're the one that they, they, they view themselves being with, like long term, settling down with, marrying, all that shit, right? But they're not telling you this right now. They're keeping this from you right now because they don't want you to expect too much of them. And because they're not quite ready to leave things behind or separate from things or detach from things or they feel that they can't at this time. And they're not they're not ready to open up to you, really. This person is also very, very well aware that they need to heal. But at the same time, they keep trying to hold on to you. Interesting. I'm telling you guys. I will take these because I was already seeing this card in my head while I was shuffling this deck. You're definitely about to hear from this person. So you could be about to hear from them during the solar, like around the solar eclipse or after the solar eclipse or around that time. I don't know. But it says they want to message you and explain everything. So maybe this is, they're holding back from you as well because they think that you, you, they know that you will want an explanation from them and they're not ready to take, yeah, justice in reverse. They're not. They're not telling you everything that's going on. They're kind of leaving you out of the loop about things because they don't want to have to explain themselves. And they know if they tell you that they want you to be their husband or their wife or whatever, that you are going to expect certain things from, from them. You're gonna, they're going to have to answer to you. And if they don't follow through with like what they're, you know, if, they, if their actions don't match their words, then they're going to have to explain themselves and they don't want to do that. Yeah, they know that they have, if they're going to talk to you, they're going to, and this could be a boundary that you guys set with this person. This person's in this energy where they know that they can't play with you. I feel like this person has played with, you guys are in this energy where you're not tolerating that anymore. It says they want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. But like I said, this person has a lot of emotions for you that they hide from you. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awakened a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. Didn't I just say that? Aw, you guys can be seeing 1111. I just heard you are their 1111 wish. Even if it, so you guys just can be seeing 1111. Or you guys are wishing for this person when you see 1111. But I'm telling you, this person gets excited when they think about you and a future with you and what you guys could have together and the, like what their life would be like of the two of you guys being together. Like they, like they daydream a lot about it. They, they think about all the possibilities. Wow, here we have Twin Flame. Didn't that already come out? Yeah, that if you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you, their higher self wants union as much as you do. You guys could be receiving um, messages or channel channeling songs or something like that. That have And that's messages when it comes to the situation with this person. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. We have anxiously waiting. Yeah, this person's like, pay, like they're, they're ang I wouldn't even say they're patiently waiting. They're trying to be patient. But this person is just like waiting. First of all, they're waiting to hear from you. Some of them like are wanting you to re like waiting for you to reach out to them. But more so, this person is looking forward to the day when the two of you can come back together. Because we have justice here again and resurrection. So what is that card right there? Yeah, it's like they were being very resistant, but they're awakening now. But it says they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. It's almost like this person feels like they can't offer you and they can't give you a solid commitment right now either. But it's like they're they're excited for the day when they will be able to or they're anxious about it. it. Says what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. So all right. Um let me get a few more. Yeah, this person puts you on a pedestal. You like yeah, they admire you. Yep. This person also feels like you're kind of out of their league. They, they feel like you're on a different level than them. We have C. I'm telling you. There's somebody around them, guys. Bad influences, scheming, controlling, manipulation. I knew. I, what about that? I feel like these are the type of people that they're used to. But, they're, yeah, spiritual lessons, religious factors. Differences in spiritual beliefs. What about that voodoo doll and religious factors, rocking horse, indecision? Yeah, it's almost, this is really sad, guys. 
but this person is used to people that are like not anything like you that are not good people okay manipulative they're scheming they're controlling they're yeah just bad influences and it's like they they've been indecisive about you because this person's also not used to having like consistency and stability alchemy reviving what was lost clear, clear, creating something out of nothing what does that have to do with anything alchemy sacred emerald divine love receiving abundance heart chakra activation what's that do with straw into gold it's like you guys feel it's like almost like a situation where you guys maybe have gotten to a point when it comes with this person where you just don't see how this could ever turn into the relationship that you desire or you don't you guys may not see how this person is going to be like turn or evolve or grow into this person that you wanted them to you just don't see it anymore maybe at some point you had faith in this person to change and evolve and grow but it's like you guys may feel like because what that card just say it says you're going to witness the impossible made possible but it's gonna it's coming you don't have to take this you don't you don't have to take this person back but it's coming because this is a divine love someone's going through a heart chakra activation and i feel like it's this person you guys can be going through heart chakra upgrades but what what you you may feel like how do i say what i'm trying to say it's just like you guys have not been able to see how this situation can turn into what you wanted it to be but spirit says mate your dreams are manifesting it says your power is activated some of you guys are more powerful than you think you guys could be what did that card say i don't remember what which one it was but it's like you guys are manifesting this whatever is happening with you and this person or that's about to happen is something that you have manifested and we have trick or treat yeah what about that it's like you guys thought that this person would never stop playing games like they would never take you seriously or but it's like that's it's coming <laughs> and you guys are literally you're the you're manifesting this discovery or realization sudden insight into reality dig deep within for answers this person like has been feeling like you guys are just really different you guys may be too different or some of you guys are feeling like somebody's been feeling like their love life has been cursed. They just don't have luck and love. And some of you guys have just been really craving like a deep, true love and union. But yeah, we have wasting time. You guys are in this energy where you just don't feel like this person's worth waiting for anymore. So, or hold on. Yeah. See, what is this situation too? Some of you guys felt like you were beating a dead horse with this person. For others of you, I'm telling you, this person over here, they know that I'm my right ear is ringing. It's, it's with my right ear ringing and wasting time. This somebody here, which I'm feeling it's your person, they need to step into their masculine energy. Somebody needs to get, step into their masculine because this person has just been waiting and they've been like just trying to like hope that it, they, they're in a bad situation, but they've been just trying to make the best out of it or just, just hoping that maybe one day it'll get better or something like that. But Spirit is saying that this is not something that's just going to get better. This person needs to take action to change their situation or to improve things for themselves, remove, walk away, set boundaries. There needs to be action taken instead of just sitting there and because it's just prolonging the inevitable spirit says. So what's that mean for this connection? Worth the fight. Exactly. This person needs to, if they want you, they're going to have to come in and fight for your love. I'm sick of this person. I feel like this person's just maybe been, yeah, exactly. That's confirmation right there. They're going to have to fight for this. What is a lone wolf? Heart of betrayal. What does that do with my collective? Cost C. What is this about? Safe place. Somebody's been staying in their comfort zone, which is a superficial relationship. Somebody. 
is afraid of what does part of betrayal have to do with this person see there's that solar eclipse i'm telling you what about that drinking to forget trying to move on deeply missing you well how's that working out that you're gonna so this person's gonna end up wanting to choose you i feel like this is very similar to the collective reading i did outside like three two or three weeks ago now this person was choosing to stay in their comfort zone and to stay single and this person has a big fear of like getting hurt or cheated on or something like that. But something is changing around this solar eclipse where this person, they're going to be missing you a lot, like deeply missing you. Yeah. Commitment, wedding, marriage, they choose you. Unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. Yep. Now we have, what's, what about the young soul family? What's that doing, my collector? Two possibilities. Yeah. Ghost it. What is that? Perfect. They ghosted. They could have cut off or ghosted or left the person that was their perfect match out in the cold. What is the inner, the young? Forever yours. You're going to maybe feeling the pressure, losing the patience, requires immediate action. Exactly. Requires immediate action. Yeah, left out in the cold. What did I just say? They're, they're, somebody's about to run out of time or they're going to be feeling this urgency to make a decision here. Somebody knows that they're going to have to come towards you and be vulnerable with you. And they have the, the feelings and emotions are there. They're there. But... They have to make the decision to really, like, surrender 